Hey everybody, welcome to my latest video. Today we're going to make a video showing you how to download and install the 2022-2023 college football revamped roster for the PS3. It's a real easy process. You guys should be able to do it no problem. Um, this is assuming that you already have the game installed. You have Hen and Multiman on your computer on your PS3 already. You don't need multi-man for this step, but it assumes you have all that and you're already running the game. I'm gonna be putting out a new video on how to install the PS3, or how to install a college football revamp for PS3. I'm gonna do re make an updated video for that because it's been over a year and a half since I made one. Um, I got a new PS3, the game disc and everything. I'm gonna go from Step A all the way through the process. That'll be out sometime this weekend. Uh, today's the 15th, so sometime before the 18th, I should hope to have that out. In the meantime, we're getting a lot of heat on some of these videos. Somebody keeps reporting them, so if this helps you at all, hit that sub for me. I really would appreciate the sub very much. Um, without further ado, let's get into the video. I'll have every Thing I show you linked in the description. First, we want to go to the Operation Sports website. Um, you will have to make an account, but I've had an account with these guys for years, so it should not be a problem. Don't worry about it. You want to come down here to the PS3 offline file and click on that zip file. You will have to have 7-zip or something to unzip this with once you get it. When you get it to your system, you will get a file that looks like this uh, PS3 zip file right here. I have two of them in here, so it's showing up with two, but you'll get a PS3 zip file. You need to unzip that and extract it wherever you're going to remember where it's at. Then you'll get this PS3 folder. You want to leave everything in this folder. You got a save data folder, and this is your roster file. Okay, so you want to take your USB drive and put it in the computer. It has to be FAT32 to work with your PS3. I'm assuming since you have it on there already, you have a USB with a FAT32. If not, there's videos showing you how to turn one into FAT32 if it's larger than 32 gigs. You'll need probably about 10 gigs to do this, maybe a little less. So if you have an older USB that's FAT32, it should work. So you take this file just like it is the PS, where it says 3SP and you put it on your USB drive. You'll come into your PS3. You'll enable HEN. Like I said earlier, I'm assuming you have HEN on your machine and you'll need to enable it. Then you want to go up to the Save Data Utility for the PS3. You'll click on that. You'll come down to your USB device. And when you click on it, you should get this folder or file. That's the roster U file that you put on your USB drive. You'll click the triangle button and then you'll hit copy. So we know that'll that'll put the roster file in. We know you're good at that point. And you want to come down. This is a digital download version I have, so I do not have to go into multi-man to run it. You guys on the disk copy will need to run multi-man back out of multi-man and come in and click on your blue disc on your screen like you do to load the game. I have mine up here. We're going to go ahead and load into it. When we get into it, we want to go the Operation Sports website. If I can click on the right one here, my goodness. There we go. The Operation Sports website will tell you right here. You want to go to Notre Dame and see that they have punter John Sot or Sot or however you say it, J O N S O T. Once we get into the game, we'll, I'll show you where to go look for that and then we'll be done with the video. Pretty simple to update the rosters. Um, if you 
I'll be making a video on how to update version 19. If you want to wait and do that first, I'll have that out this weekend along with all the other, or with the PS3 uh, installation video that I have. Uh, PS3 does run a little bit slower than the computer, so it takes a minute to actually get into the game. There we go. You want to go into team management, edit rosters. If the there it takes a long time to load. You want to go down to uh, Notre Dame and Hunter, and there we have J S O T John Sot. So we know we have the files right. So that's it. That's all there is to upgrading the files. These are the new 22-23 files. So dig into them and enjoy them. And make sure to let these guys know they did a good job on the files. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Hit that sub, like, and share. We'll talk to you later.